Hello everybody, I thought I'd do another uni vlog. I know it's been a couple of weeks, but it has been manic. Hello to my new subscribers. I've gained quite a few subscribers in the last couple of weeks. So hello, I'm Ellie. I'm a uni student at the University of Lincoln. Today, I'm just gonna do a vlog. I've been at work since half eight this morning. I've got back, it's now half 12. So, and I short shift this morning and now, yeah, I'm going to have a productive rest of my day. I want to make the most of having some time off because, again, I'm just super, super busy. I'm just going to have some lunch now. Um, I'm then going to go off and let my food settle. I'm going to go food shopping. So I'll show you my food shop for this week. Um, I'm then going to go for a run, get ready. And for the rest of the day, I'm going to be doing some uni work. My dissertation is due in about three and a half weeks and I have a lot to write. And it's slowly panicking me, but I'm sure that's every dissertation student right now. But yeah, let's go on with the video. <laughs> let's go on with the video. So for lunch today, this is just leftovers from last night. I made some pasta, the prawn chorizo with a tomato and basil sauce, and it's actually amazing. Um, really nice filling dinner. I've also put courgette and mushrooms in there just to add some veggies. But nice, easy student meal, and also really tasty. I've got my shopping list. Um, I've just had some lunch. I'm going to go off and get my shopping. I'm going to go to Aldi and to Tesco today. I'm going to show you all what I get. It's going to last me from now until Thursday. So just under a week um, because I'm going back home, but it should last me a little while. Um, but I'll show you what I get. Um, I go to Aldi because fresh food is just cheaper in there and Tesco is anything that I can't get in Aldi. So let's go. Shopping is done. I've got everything I needed plus a little bit extra, which I didn't need, but also I do. Anyway, always happens when I go shopping. It's not great, but I've got the food I need. I'm going to go back, show you what I've got. I've hit a wall of tiredness, but I'm still going to get a run done. I haven't gone for a run this week. And as you know, I'm training for the London Marathon in October and I've got a while, but I need to keep my running going and even though I'm doing a lot of work and uni work I still want to try and get some fitness in so yeah let's go back home excuse the really bad lighting and my really messy frizzy hair my shopping so from Aldi I got some bread um I know I'm only here till Thursday so I'm definitely not going to eat the whole loaf um but I'll be able to just pop it in the freezer and I can use it for toast still so bread wraps i got some wraps um really like these for lunch just put some chicken in and everything again i'm not going to use all of it but i can freeze what i don't use spinach i will get through this whole bag of spinach i eat a lot of it <laughs> it's in everything broccoli again i should use all of this up and i'll make myself because i hate wasting veg grapes um really great for snacking on i really find them just easy to eat i can have them with breakfast anything grapes are like one of my faves iceberg lettuce now the reason i got it in a packet um and not a whole iceberg is because it's easier but also i won't eat a whole iceberg lettuce and this i will eat so i won't waste it and um, there's not as much in here as there is in a whole big lettuce some cheese uh, my stomach doesn't like really high fat content so um i just get the less fat cheese um i know i'm lazy i got it pre-grated but again it's just easy it's just easy and again i'm not going to eat a whole block of cheese in time um so this i can just grab and go salmon now i actually looked at the prices in this from salmon um from aldi compared to tesco it's actually only five or ten p difference which actually isn't that much so next time i will probably just go to tesco and get everything because i love tesco it's my favorite place to shop because it's got everything like today i did two shops but anyway got some salmon really great for everything I, I salmon's a weekly thing for me cucumber now i got the large cucumber and it's absolutely massive but um i eat a lot of it like i'll go for a small one in a two in about two days so this i'll probably go through in less than a week but it will last me i love cucumber with everything again it's amazing asparagus i'll have asparagus for breakfast lunch and dinner i'll just chop it up grill it um, fry it, boil it, anything. Asparagus is great because you can get, add it to so many things. Peppers, I did get these loose rather than a big packet because I tend to find that after using the packets, I won't use all the peppers. So two is perfect for me. I also, I only like sweet red peppers. Um, so I might as well buy what I'm gonna eat. Apples, I've got some pink lady apples. I did get the kids ones because they are like 50p cheaper. 
um, but also they're smaller and um, a whole one I find is too much, like a big adult one. I sound like a kid. Um, but these are great, these will last a while as well, so these will last more than a week in the fridge. This isn't food, but in Aldi, I did get some meal prep containers, which I thought would be amazing for work, especially I'm going to work um, every day for the next few days. So these are great for work. Um, and also if I've got a mm, dinner that I made like the day before, I can just pop it in there. So these were like three pounds. So I thought they were a good deal and I can wash them. So from Tesco, my favorite place in the world, I got a few bits, so I got, actually I got a glass because I only had two glasses and I find that I just ran out of them. So this is 50p, I thought I might as well get myself a new glass. Um, some rice, now I know this is cheating, but it's so much easier, especially because I just live by myself and I'll always make way too much rice. Um, but this is great for just like two lunches. Um, and it's like 38p, which is fine. I know it's cheaper to buy a whole pack, which I have in there, and I know it's cheaper, but it's just easy, especially if I need something quick. These were on offer, Lloyd Grossman sauces. I find these so flavoursome. I find a lot like Dolmio, just really cheap sauces, just no flavour in them, and they're really just grim. So these, actually, this is what I put in my pasta last night, this um, tomato and basil one, and it's so good, like, it's so flavoursome. Um, and again, if I'm finding like, I come back from work like really late and I need something quick, I can put some pasta together instead of making my own sauce, which takes a while, which I do prefer to do, but if I need something quick, these are great. So I've got a tomato and roasted garlic and a tomato and basil. These can be in there and they'll be able to make a meal if I need something quick in the next few weeks. And they were on club card price. Chicken burgers. So um, these are two pound and I love these. Um, I find beef doesn't sit as well in my stomach um, as other meats. Um, chicken, turkey, um, all of the sort of leaner meats are great for me. So chicken burgers, I love. I think any burger buns. It's one thing I'm missing is burger buns. Um, they're great for a, um, a dinner. I also find just a whole burger with some salad is an amazing dinner and it's actually quite cheap. Chicken, I will probably make for my lunches chicken and rice and then I've got the chicken burgers um, and then I've got the salmon. So I've got different ideas for lunch and dinner, etc. But I only needed two. If I needed more, I'll just go and grab some. But preferably, hopefully this will do me for the next um, week. But two chicken breasts. I actually find um, meat in Tesco at the moment is better than Aldi. I know Aldi's good for meat, but I just, I haven't liked what I've bought from there recently. And if I look at anything, they're really gristly and just don't look nice so and i'm really fussy with meat so all i need is that from tesco and it's a red tractor one as well so at least they're certified like standards which is better ginger and lemons now this is super cheap 30p each and this is like 90p for a pack of ginger they're gonna last me a little while i like to have in the evening a ginger lemon and honey tea for my immune system i have a low immune system and especially at the moment because so many colds are going around and everything like that so Oh, this is just the best thing in the evening and I don't like having caffeine at night. One big potato, it's as big as my head. Now I'm making crispy potatoes in the week. Um, so I just needed one potato and I wasn't gonna waste my time. I find I waste so many potatoes that just start growing, um, growing and I don't like to use them. Some go green. Um, yeah, so I don't wanna, I'm trying not to waste as much. So I only need one potato. So I just got one potato. Celery, again, I'm gonna make, um, salad sort of bits like salad on the sides of my burger and i love celery i can snack on it all day blueberries now again i'm really fussy with blueberries i can eat but i can't eat a lot of seeded foods but blueberries seem to be okay with me um these tesco ones are really good at the moment i had these are the only ones available the other day but i got them and they were crunchy and sweet and amazing and i wanted to get some more because i could just snack on them um really really nice um i mean they're three pound but i'm gonna eat them and they're really nice. Um, my last thing, I got some Belvoir Farm um, Spark Canal de Flower. Now, I don't actually drink a lot. If I do drink, I maybe have a couple, but I don't tend to drink at uni, which makes me a really weird uni student, but it, I just don't drink a lot of alcohol. Um, so in the evening, I just like to have like a cold sparkling elderflower like the granny I am, but still really nice and it's still refreshing and it's just something i like to drink and this was on club card prices again so it was like 75p off so i wouldn't probably buy it full price but this was really nice 
so that is my shop it came to approximately um take away like the extra bits i got to take away for example i got some bleach for the toilet i got some i got a new toilet roll holder um and i got those lunch boxes but all the food together was around 30 pounds and that is my budget for each week i may get a couple snacks or something in the week you may be thinking what do you actually snack on or have lunches and breakfast but um for breakfast i have um, I already have some eggs and I've got bread. Um, I tend to not buy, I only buy things sometimes every other week. This is mainly my fresh produce um, and meat, which uh, I'll get every week. Um, and also I say like these, I've got some store cupboard things like this and the elderflower, which usually I wouldn't get. So actually really good. There's a lot for your money there. It's gonna last me a week and it's healthy and fresh and that's what I need. And I'm gonna feed my body some good food. I do have um, like a little snack box, which has some crisps in. Um, I've got some biscuits already in my little biscuit jar. Um, I've got um, some little tiny Kit Kat bunnies. Yeah, that is my food for the week. So also I just thought I'd say I've got still some things in the fridge that I will use that last a little while. So for example, I've got a whole pot of yogurt um, which I can have for breakfast. I've still got some like Rolo muses, some kefir, um, some dairy cheese spread, things that just last a while, but things that I don't need to buy like every week. Um, shut up fridge so it's mainly my fresh produce that I'm buying each week um, and I'm always making sure that I don't waste food because again I've already said I don't want to waste food it is three o'clock I am about to go for a run I'm just gonna go for a 5k get back and hopefully by four o'clock I'll be sat down doing some uni work which is my desperate need but I do want to go for a run I have got my Nuru shoes on these are Brooks 21 I can't remember the exact code or anything of them but these are my new running shoes i needed some new ones because my other ones were just really worn and didn't have much spring in them so it'd be interesting to see how i do in these yeah let's go considering i haven't run in a week and i'm actually quite shaken now um i pushed myself at the end i actually got a pb for 5k i ran 5k which is what i wanted to do and my fitness hasn't gone down too much which is great i also ran the fastest mile i ever have it was just over, I think it was 9 minutes, 15 seconds, which was really good for me. And these trainers were obviously good and they were supportive and cushioned and fast. So I might do a review video of them, but I'm going to get a drink. I've just been doing some dissertation work and I've got dinner. This is like the easiest dinner I can think of doing right now. Um, I know I got food in, but I wanted to use up stuff tonight of what I had before going on to my new fresh food. So I've got some chips, which I just had in the freezer and um, fried egg. And then I just got some veggies, so mushrooms and courgette. I like to just add veggies to a meal because it just bulks up and makes you get fuller for longer. Um, so for the last few hours I had dinner and then I've just been doing some more dissertation work but my mind is going completely frazzled so I've done about just over a thousand words so actually I've done a lot of progress today um, on my dissertation um, but I think it's time to get some sleep I mean it's only it's quarter to nine um, but I want to get an early night and wake up tomorrow because I'm actually going to watch the Australian Grand Prix but while I get ready for work so yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's mainly just been a video about my weekly shop, um, but I know um, it might be helpful. Um, get you an idea of what I get each week and sort of the budget I'm on. Um, if you did like this video, give it a massive thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.